What's up, homies? Welcome to another episode of Black Flag. Uh, today I'm going to go to the BMW dealership to get an emblem for one that fell off the car on the side. I know, I know, BMWs. But I'm going to go get that and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I bought this car. So, you ready? You want to do this? Let's go. What's up everybody? Um, first of all, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've posted. Uh, work's been kind of crazy lately. Had some long days and whatever. No excuses. I apologize. Uh, but I'm back best to keep this thing going. So, um, I've got something I want to talk to you about today, something very specific. And that is that I bought this car for a purpose, for a reason. I don't like train tracks. That's why I bought this car. No. Um, hang on, see if you can hear my brakes. Um, anyway, so I bought this car for a purpose, for a reason, and I want to tell you about that today. So I try not to let YouTube comments bother me or get to me. People say some dumb things on YouTube and I get that. But um, sometimes certain comments bother me and really are expressing frustration or projecting their ideas of what this car should be. Um, it's like they were thinking that this is a stock E46 or why isn't this a stock E46 M3 or why whatever. Just stuff like that and it kind of ticks me off. Kind of kind of get TO'd. I'm just getting really just kind of TO'd because she hasn't even sent me a full body shot yet. Um, anyway. So it bugs me because I bought this car for a reason. And the one reason I bought this car that I wanted any kind of car to begin with was because I wanted to drive fast. And for those of you who watch the vlog regularly, you know this. I wanted a car that I could drive fast in, that I could learn to drive well in. So I did not buy this car to have some perfect E46 M3 that's going to be all stock and meticulous. I want it to be clean, yes. I want it to be running perfect, absolutely. But I did not buy this car to have somebody else's... I, I did not buy this car to have someone else's idea of what an E46 M3 should be. I bought this car because I wanted to build a race car. Let's go.
of this, $46 for a little tiny emblem. I know you can get it on eBay cheaper, but I didn't want to get it on eBay. I wanted a genuine BMW because I'm taking care of this car. You know, hang on, this is hard. Um, I know I really shouldn't care too much about what people think. And sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. Um, you know, you want to build things that people appreciate, that people like, that, uh, that people like, that people respect. And that's what I'm trying to do with this car. I'm building it for me, but I want people to like it. So here's the thing, I bought this car for a reason, a very specific reason, a very specific purpose. And all cars are different and of course the reason people buy cars are different. This is purely for fun. Um, this car was bought for one reason and one reason only and that reason is to race. I don't know if race is the right word, but to go fast, to do some of the things that so far I've been doing. And there's plenty more planned. Thing is, that's why I'm putting a roll cage in it, that's why I'm gutting it, that's why I'm doing some things to this car that some people might not want to do. That some people might cringe at and go, oh, you're ruining an M3. Or why some people say, oh, you could have bought, um, I don't know. These birds are loud. Hush birds! Um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, anyway, I bought a 2005 BMW M3 with 141,000 miles and some things that may not be genuine BMW. Like the CSL bumpers um, and some things that are a little yeah on it but it didn't matter to me if you watched my bumper episode you saw I got a genuine BMW bumper because I'm going to be putting in a brake cooling kit one day and I don't care about the eight pillars inside because that stuff's coming out when the roll cage is going in so all I'm saying is I had a specific vision for my car and if you have a specific vision for your car, or maybe it's not even a car, it's something else. Whatever you've got in your head, put pencil to paper, put pen to paper, make it permanent. Make a plan and stick to it. Don't worry about what other people have to say about it or their ideas for it. Sometimes, yes, it's good to get opinions. I like opinions. Um, I like to hear what people have to say. But I don't like negativity. I've always been that way. I like to be surrounded by positive people. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but you know why I bought the car. I bought this car because I wanted a really cool car that I could build a race car with, that I could go fast with, that had the potential to be something bigger than it already is. And what it already is, is an amazing car straight from BMW. There's little things we can do to make it just right, to make it perform at a level that some people have made these cars perform at. So, that's what I have to say today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Everything about it.